Yeah, so hi all, hi everybody, good evening out there. I hope you're all doing great. And uh, as we were, you know, as we were, we were discussing in the previous session, this session, you know, would be on what are the you know latest things that are available to us in SAP UI5 Fury 2.0. Now, this is the new in thing with SAP Fury, uh, at least. Now, there is something called SAP 2.0, which has come up. And the aim of this session would be to understand the differences or to understand some new features of Fury 2.0 try to see what it looks like. And then we would also understand some points uh, about them technically, probably, you know, good enough for an interview. Now, this is, you know, just a basic level understanding. I have, you know, just Googled some pages and I thought I'll just put them down together at a single, you know, at a single video so that you know, it might be useful for some. So yeah, here it is. So let's begin. The first difference that is present as far as Fury 2.0 is considered is, you know, to, to just talk about it before we get into the points directly is they have enhanced the look and feel of the app of the uh, Fury Launchpad or, you know, how the overall look looks like. Uh, apart from this, uh, I would say the UX, which is the user experience is enhanced. Uh, so, you know, you would be able to notice that this Fury 2.0 is providing a much better platform uh, as compared to Fury at least in terms of you know look and feel then if we get into this technically we would be noticing some points like the first thing is navigation and the other thing is discovery right so when you talk of navigation this basically talks of the case you know when the end user knows what the application is he knows where to go and you know he's navigating according to his requirement and then the second variant that we have is discovery wherein the end user has no clue of where the application is located, but he knows what is the application that he wants. So he would be, you know, discovering the applications based on certain groups or, you know, certain requirement. So this is the first, you know, change that they've come up with. So now discovery of an application or, you know, discovering an application uh, on which you have to work would become a bit easier. The second one is favorites. Now here you have certain, you know, dashboard functionalities and launch, but, uh, you know, launching functionalities, which have been, you know, combined together and bought onto the home page because of which you would be having greater flexibility as compared to the older way. And here you would be seeing that there are launch tiles, link areas and tile groups. Okay. Now when you talk of launch tiles, we all know what that is. I mean, at least all those who are, who have been working as UI5 developers must be knowing what, what launch tiles do. Right, so they basically work like you know an application. So even in, even in your mobile, when you have an icon or when you have some thing to open, you know the button which you have to open your application, that is called a launch tile. Okay, now that is how Fury calls SAP calls it. And then the second area is the link area. It allows for you know an, an alternative visualization of your application on the home page. Like you know simple textual links can be provided there for. And then you have the tile groups. Uh, which now, now these are something which would allow better structuring of you know your home according to your needs now let us say you are a manager and you would be you know accessing approve leave requests or you know approve uh, some order probably on a daily basis so you can set them on your home screen as per your requirements all these things can be achieved using your favorites apart from this you also have the edit mode which would give you some more functionalities that you can add on to your page as per your requirement and you can place them according to the way you want so even the placement of you know so so basically it's it's, it's it, they're trying to make it like a mobile moreover wherein you would be able to you know club certain applications in one folder you would be able to you know uh, set certain notifications, uh, I mean, turn notifications on for certain applications. You can turn notification off for certain applications. And then you have certain applications which can access your camera, certain applications which can access your gallery, like Facebook accesses both your camera and gallery. So, you know, SAP is trying to, you know, come up with something like that, you know, wherein we are trying to, you know, work something, you know, we are trying to replicate something like a mobile, but then because this is of, you know, a business requirement and because this is an ERP where, wherein, you know, you would be having, you would be using things for an official purpose. We cannot make it, uh, you know, uh, look so cool also because, you know, it's at, at any given point of time, you cannot lose the official uh, look and feel 
of any application. So in, in, that is the reason why what they're doing is, you know, taking inspiration from, you know, how mobile operating systems work. They have, you know, designed this uh, new Fury, you know, 2.0 on those lines. Okay. Now this is not completely implemented, but then uh, I think, you know, we would be able to see them very shortly. So here in these app navigations, you have hierarchical navigation, you have related applications navigation, and then you can navigate from you know, all your applications. So yeah, that's the thing. The next one is discovery, which we were talking right in the first point, but then to add, uh, you know, another point to it, you would be having something called as an app finder, like how you have it in all your mobile phones. Now this would list, you know, the applications that you're looking for. I think you, you, you just have to enter the keyword, like uh, let us say you're looking for uh, some purchase order application. So you just have to, you know, go for purchase uh, in the search and I think that will do it for you. And uh, now if you're looking for, you know, now you're not sure you're looking for all those uh, applications wherein they, 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 you know, you have to approve some orders or, you know, you have to raise some orders, you know, it could be purchase order, you know, sales order, all these. So even that you can, you know, search with the key term order and, you know, that would give you a list of all the applications that are available with that specific name. So that would also do the same thing for you. The next one is pretty interesting. You have something called as a me area. Now me area is found on the off screen area. Now, when I say off screen area, you would not be looking at it you would not be able to see it permanently, but then when you swipe or, you know, when you slide to the left, you would be able to access the information which is relevant to you. Now, when I say relevant to you, it would include, uh, you know, things like, you know, the user's profile picture and the access to online state, apart from the some settings and preferences that you, you always work with, uh, a, a, you know, catalog of available applications. I mean, the app finder that we were talking about in the previous point. Uh, some tools to personalize your look and feel according to your requirements and then the objects and applications that you've recently you know, worked on you that, or, or that you recently visited. So these are the things that you would be having in your work area. So basically in your me area. So basically this is like uh, a personalized area which would have user information followed by you know, the applications which you use frequently. So this is the thing. So this is how it would look like. So uh, the first uh, image where you have, you know, the content, I would request you to follow the mouse pointer. Now this would be the main screen. When you swipe to the left, you would be having me area, which would be appearing like this. And then when you swipe to the right, you would be having system area or, you know, the notification panel that you can see. Now, what is this notification panel? Right now here you would be having, you know, your prioritized notifications. Now let us say whenever there is a leave request raised, you want to be notified or whenever there is a purchase order, uh, you know, sales order approved, you want to be notified about it. So in cases like these, you would be setting notifications, you would be turning notifications on for, you know, the required applications and you would be having those notifications which would be throwing up uh, some information for you um, whenever there is, you know, something happening on that specific application. So these are the new things that, you know, SAP UI 5 Fury 2.0 has come up with. So it would be good if all of you are able to, you know, just take a look at it. I would be providing the link of the website uh, with, with this information right in the description below. Apart from this, if there's any queries that you have, if there's anything that you want to know about it, please feel free to, you know, use the comment box that's available. Uh, I would respond to you, you know, at the earliest. And then, you know, if uh, you liked, or, you know, if you want to, you know, share this to somebody, or, you know, if you, if there's anything that you want to ask, you know, you have all those, you know, available in the, in the bar right below the screen. And yeah, to, you know, keep looking at more videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you're looking for in-depth or, you know, training on this, you can always contact us through the website or you can always let us know thanks a lot for watching it's really been great uh watching uh, you know sharing this with you uh in the next video we will also be looking at you know some more features of web id because web id has also come up with something new so we'll look at that and you know we we'll keep growing mutually and i hope you have a great day out there thanks a lot for watching and yeah stay subscribed to this channel thank you